Temple Bar is Dublin's cultural and nightlife quarter. It is made up of a network of 18th century streets, reinvented in the 1990s as a hive of creative activity. Today, it forms the geographic and perhaps the social heart of the city. The streets in Temple Bar are named after 18th century landowners, such as the Temple family who gave the area its name. Traditionally, the area was home to merchants, craftsmen, warehouses and commercial premises. In the 1970s, land accumulated for a new central bus station was rented out at cheap rates to artists, creating a new cultural quarter. Eventually, the bus station plan was abandoned and a wave of investment in the 1990s brought many new cultural institutions to the area. Meeting House Square is surrounded by cultural buildings. The Ark, a cultural centre for children, contains a giant stage allowing for outdoor performances. The Gallery of Photography continues the Dublin tradition of facing public buildings with white Portland stone. The photographic archive opposite is an essay in red brick postmodernism. More recently, a set of giant umbrellas has been installed so that outdoor performances are not dependent on the unpredictable Irish weather. Temple Bar is home to some eclectic and unexpected architecture. The Art Deco Electricity Transformer Station was built in 1928. A few doors down, the former Bewley's premises is in an arts and crafts style. On Temple Bar Square, Dublin's first telephone exchange was built by the Victorian architect Thomas Manley Dean in 1897. The Irish Stock Exchange on Anglesey Street has the appearance of an Italian Renaissance palace. One of the most loved cultural institutions in Temple Bar is the Irish Film Institute. This cinema creatively reuses several buildings, once belonging to the Society of Friends, or Quakers. The cinema sits alongside a new pedestrian route, partly made up of Curved Street, home to new music and film cultural institutes. Temple Bar retains the street pattern of the 18th century, on top of which has been overlaid several generations of buildings, each one giving us a playful glimpse into the spirit of its age. Today, the area forms a lively and informal quarter around which the rest of the city revolves.